Hello and welcome to our uh, Alchemy Coffee Break session. Today's topic will be what is Alchemy Catalyst? The quick question, uh, the quick answer to that question is Catalyst is a software localization tool and it is a, a tool that is designed to translate uh, software. As such, it is able to work with binary files. So I think we should really have a look at this and let's take a, uh, an executable, an exe file, uh, run it so you can see what we're talking about. This is a, you know, a software, of course the functionality here is a little bit limited, but you can see what it does. It's a, fi it's a, a window, it runs under windows, it has menu, it has toolbars, something's happening in the main window and if we go into the menus we are triggering some kind of dialog boxes themselves triggering some action. It's a fairly standard piece of software, albeit a little bit limited. So what we want to do now is we want to get this software in French and to do that we will use Alchemy Catalyst. So we start Catalyst and the first thing we're going to do is create a new project. So the project is a TTK file and it's a container. This is where we put all the files for translation. In our case the file for translation is that executable. So we right click on the project title, select insert file and insert our executable. Catalyst is currently parsing the file, so it's going through the file, splitting the resources and the code, and only showing us the resources, because we don't need to access the code part of the logic of the uh, application. And here we have the different resources organized in resource types. So by example, if I click on a menu, I will be able to see the strings that belong to that menu, and also a visual representation of the menu. And this is the second uh, important criteria or you know important notion about catalyst which is that visual visual localization sorry on top of allowing you to translate the binaries to the exes and dlls directly catalyst also gives you a visual rendering of anything that has um, rendering information so this is the menu but it's also applicable to the dialog boxes by example and i can see the different dialog boxes this is the one that we ran earlier in the software itself. Okay, so once I've inserted an executable in Catalyst, I can uh, view those items. I can also see all of the strings for translation. So, by example, I can just enable the old string view and I would see all of the content for translation in my file. I'm able to get some statistics. So let's have a quick word count of our file to have an idea as to what we need to translate. And there are in total 278 words for translation in our file. Quite small, but as we've seen, the you know the uh, functionality were quite was quite uh, limited. Okay, so at this stage, I'm ready to send the file out to the translators, and I can maybe do a little bit more preparation in real life scenario. But the file can then go out to the translators, so it can be. Uh, translated. A translator would work on the file uh, as follows. They most likely would be working in split view and then they can simply select a string and translate it. Press enter to move to the next one and then we can translate those different strings here. So, whoops, pardon. going to be a little bit uh, literal here but that will do and this one which I missed okay so as you can see you can translate fairly uh, simply now you may have noticed that we might have introduced a little bit of a problem and actually Catalyst has flagged it to us saying that we think there's a problem here if we look at the string it's actually truncated now validation error should be that yeah there is a truncation here so all we need to do is go into the uh, visual view and resize the uh, the control. If we press F5, we rerun the check and it's fine now. So as you can see, the translators have uh, a lot of um, ability. Another option might be that, let's say in French, for some reason, we decide that the OK button should be under the cancel button as opposed to the English. In this case, we might be able to just do that just move the OK button to wherever we need. We can also obviously resize the dialog if we need to, if we needed more space. So as you can see, the translators have the ability to do a lot of, you know, light engineering work on the file just while they're translating. 
there is also a possibility for the localization engineer to prevent this kind of um, option and to turn all that off so that it does not happen. So we've translated uh, a dialog box, obviously in a real uh, scenario. The translation would then continue and translate everything. Here, to save a little bit of time, I'm going to run a leverage expert, which is an automatic translation based on a translation memory. So I prepared a translation memory earlier, and now Catalyst has applied those translations found in the TM into my current project. So you can see by example now that the menu is completely translated because it was translated in the past, I had all of that in the translation memory and I've simply reused it. Okay, and you can see that the visual view obviously refreshes as soon as you translate something so you can see everything as it appears in the translated area. So. Once the whole file is translated, it's returned to the localization engineer. The localization engineer would most likely run some validation checks, a little bit like you you know, you know, saw the uh, error being flagged. We can run those in batch mode so that we can make sure everything is okay. And then we're ready to generate the French version of our file. To do that, we right-click on the file and select Extract File. I can then give it a specific name, so let's call it French trying to spell it correctly, uh, quickstart.exe. And we have now generated, if we check the result, I'm sure it's finished the file extraction. We've now generated an executable that is uh, functionally identical to the original file. And just before you ask, no, I'm not going to ask you to believe me, I'm actually going to show you. This is the French quickstart.exe that we generated just a minute ago. And if we double click on it, you will see that you have the same uh, interface, you have the same functionality. Now everything is in French, all the menus are in French, and if I select a, a button from the toolbar, there is the tooltip and everything is in French. If I click, the, dialog, the correct dialog box appears, um, the cancel button is on top of the OK button. Now if I click on green and click at the bottom button, it will do the, um, you know, so it's not just uh, looking, we've been able to move the buttons around and everything is still functional. So it's something very important to keep in mind. Catalyst will deliver a functionally identical file to the original. And there we go. This essentially concludes our very quick um, overview of the basic functionality in Catalyst. And to the question, what is Catalyst all about? At this level, it really is about binary localization and visual translation. So it's able to deal with the uh, compiled files. You don't need to go to, you know, to translate the source of your compilation. And it gives the translator a visual interface for translating the files. Now, obviously, over the years, Catalyst has added a lot of functionality to this and it's become a much more feature-rich software. So if you have any queries or if you, you know, if you want to see a little bit more about Alchemy Catalyst, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at alchemysoftware.ie and we'll be more than happy to get in touch and organize um, a follow-up that will be more relevant to you. In the meantime, thank you very much for attending this session and have a nice day. Goodbye.